Hello and welcome, April Ray here, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mobile Studios. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I wanted to shoot this quick video because I wanted to talk about the top three reasons why you would want to have a blog. And I'm talking about anybody that's basically doing business online or just doing business period nowadays you really want to have a blog not just a website which really doesn't happen much anymore where you just have a static website but you have an actual blog where people can engage with you and so um, this is not only for you know your consultants your coaches um, but really I'm talking to online marketers um, or I should say affiliate marketers network marketers and those direct sellers out there. I was I used to be a network marketer, so I really know how important this is. And the very first thing that you want to understand is you want to brand you and not your company or your MLM company in your business. Because, well, for one, the main reason they could not be in business within the next five years. So if you've got a bunch of, of content on social media talking about your MLM with your MLM name attached to it, and then you're gonna to have to rebrand basically because you started off branding your company business. You wanna brand you. And the reason why you wanna brand you is because you want people to get to know, like, and trust you, right? And the best way to do that is having a blog, a central location where people can learn about you through your About Me page. Um, they can just kind of look around and see what you're about. Um, you can position yourself in a way that really attracts people to you and that's one of the main reasons why you want to brand you and have your blog with your picture and um, just making it making it uh, understood that you are the authority in whatever niche you're in whatever business brand or business uh, products that you're selling you want to be the authority in that and you want to use your blog to make that to create that image for you so that's your hub, that's your place where you can engage with people. Now the second reason is you want to be able to leverage content. Um, a lot of people use social media like Facebook and of course YouTube. We put our content on there and we hope to get as much views and, and, and likes and subscribes, subscriptions as we can, but we really got to understand that we do not own social media. We do not own YouTube, we don't own Facebook, we don't own Twitter. Uh, Instagram at any time the owners of those companies can ban you or stop you from putting content on your site they can take away your your profile page if, if you're on fan if you're on Facebook if you're on YouTube and I've seen it happen to some big name marketers where they had their whole YouTube channel years and years of content was just you know deleted because they got their uh, YouTube banned or shut down so you want to have a central place where people can go to to view your content content besides social media. So you want to put it on your blog. You want to have blog posts. Um, you want to use that content to create value and put value into the market to teach people who you are trying to attract, if you know your niche, which you should, um, how to help them, how they can be successful in their business. You want to leverage your blog to attract people and content is the way to do that. Content is king when it comes to the internet. You don't want to just be talking about your products and your business. People get bored of that. If you came online maybe around 2008, 2009, you know, you may have been able to get away with it, but things have changed. You know, you can't just say, hey, you know, knock on somebody's Facebook back door and say, hey, you want to look at my great business opportunity or look at this awesome weight loss product I have. You, you'll really love it. Yeah. It, it doesn't work anymore and if it does you're you're really hitting up a lot of people before you get one sale and that's a lot of work so if you have a blog you can you can cut your your marketing time in half and the third and most important reason for having a blog is to capture leads you got to be able to build your email list the, the money's in the list. And I'm sure everybody has heard that and it's true because they say it takes about nine times for someone to see your product or business opportunity before they can make a decision. Now, if you just hand me your link, if you come up to me online or on Facebook or what have you and say, hey, check out my link, I might check it out, but guess what? You're never going to see me again because nine times out of 10, I know somebody that's selling that product and I'm going to go to them or I'm just not interested. 
you know, or I just did it just to be nice, or I don't know you, so I'm not going to buy from you. You've lost me now. I've had several people do that, and I'm telling you, you need to have a place where you can send people so that you can get their email information so that you can start creating relationship with them. And then as you create that relationship, as that relationship grows, they're going to start to trust you. They're going to start to know who you are, right? And at some point, they're going to say, hmm, let me take a look at your business opportunity. You seem like somebody I want to work with, or I like your products. You know, you seem like somebody I want to buy from. So... Those are the three main reasons why you want to have a blog. You want to brand yourself, you want to leverage content, and you want to be able to build your email list. You want to capture those leads. All right, that's it. That's it. I hope I've given you some value, and if I did, please leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, thanks again for joining me, and bye-bye for now.